thank the Association of Professionals and Students uh, for bringing along the next generation of leaders. And I'm really thrilled and impressed by APS's mission of providing support to young people as you move forward in your lives. Now, my assignment today was to talk about inspiration and what inspires me and what I demand of myself. So the best way that I know how to do that is to talk about some of my own personal experiences with all of you. Um, I grew up in the Midwest and I came here in 1973 for the Rose Bowl game. I left the snow and the cold. I came out here and I thought this place was just Shangri-La because it was blue and everybody looked healthy and uh, you know, they, they had sun on their face. So I thought, you know, I gotta get out of there and I transferred to USC and um, you know, where I came from, most people never leave. So it was a big deal. And I never looked back. Now, my father, he was a World War II veteran. And my mother, uh, she became a social worker much later in life. She was 19 when they got married. He was 26. But that wasn't all that unusual then. But what was unusual about them is that they took us everywhere. I had two sisters. We never had a babysitter. And they took us to getting out the vote rallies, registering people to vote, making sure that people had a chance to get housing, fair housing, uh, whatever. They were civil rights people. And so they took us everywhere. And even though I didn't realize I was learning how to fight on behalf of a community, I actually was just by following their example and being there with them. Now, I went to school, graduated from high school, and I have to be honest with you, I wasn't the greatest student in the world. I think it's because I, I talked too much and should have listened more. That's, that's one lesson I hope you'll take with you. But, you know, my, I always knew the importance of going to college. And my grandmother lived with us off and on when uh, we were growing up because she was a domestic worker, and sometimes she had a job, sometimes she didn't. But the one thing she always said is that the children have to be educated, because that is the one thing that no one can ever take away from you. And you carry that with you wherever you go. So I became a Trojan. <laughs> so I'm just going to say it, put it out there. I know today's a difficult day for me. Um, so it was last week, and I surprised myself. I got a bachelor's degree in journalism, and I actually graduated with honors because I had a passion for what I did. I had a passion for learning about other people's lives and understanding people's stories and putting them down in print. And then I went on and I got a master's degree because I wanted to continue my education. And while it's very interesting, I never said anything to my daughter about where I wanted her to go to school, because I wanted her to make the choice. But what I did do, even when she was two weeks old, I put her in a baby uh, carrier, and I would take her with me to meetings, because I was a councilwoman then, and I didn't have a babysitter at night. So I'd take her with me and take the diaper bag and all the bottles. So she spent a lot of time over the years growing up and being at USC. So when she applied for college, she actually applied to go to USC. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but she's there now. But for me, college was not just a place where I learned to study and to pass, pass tests and to solve equations. College unlocked something inside of me. It allowed me to soar. It allowed me to find out where I needed to be or to find my place in the world. Now, I started off being involved in a local program with school children in the area, and all I did was tutor them after school in math and reading and simple things, the elementary school. But because of that program, it was called the Joint Educational Project, I was able to fully immerse myself in the community around SC. <coughs> and even though I came from that perspective of community activism because of my parents, my love for my new community, it really 
bloomed and it blossomed and it grew. And over time, even though I spent a lot of years in the private sector and I was kind of bored, but I made a living, I didn't have the passion. I realized my passion was for public service. And what I wanted to do is to have a life where I could bring about real change in something that allowed me to work with community. And I was also exposed to people from many, many, many different backgrounds, religious, religions, countries and places, and it helped me to find myself even further. My own spirituality, my own ability to develop a, a, a way to communicate with people in other languages, and to communicate in a way that I would learn to respect people's differences, listen to them, and hopefully get the same in return. But most of all, college made me learn what made me tick. So I'm sharing this with all of you because I believe that the experiences and the, and the knowledge that you get in college is what makes me successful in my everyday life.